a lot of screenwriters always, especially young screenwriters coming out, is what's a high concept versus a low concept. Sure. That's that's a big thing. Can you just explain to people what a high and low concept is? Oh, man, thank you. I appreciate that. I actually love talking about this um, because high concept is so huge right now. But I actually have some theories on it. So high concept is really an easily explainable idea. It's something that's easy to market, which is kind of why uh, producers really hop on it. Because uh, it, it tends to have a wider demographic. So, you know, something like Jurassic Park is a, is a high concept uh, film because it's, you know, a dinosaur park where the dinosaurs get out and go crazy. It's really easy to explain. But a low concept or also called like a non high concept is really your character study uh, film. It's the it's the um, indie film where they kind of lean into a character and less about the world and more about how the character sees the world and interacts with the world. And personally, I, I feel that um, high concepts are, are getting less popular and you're seeing lower returns um, on these films, but you're seeing an uptake in, in the low concept character study films. And a nice, nice example I like to use is that new Joker film coming out with Joaquin mm-hmm. Phoenix. I mean, that's a low concept film. <laughs> and it's getting it's getting a lot of buzz, and I think you're going to really start seeing that a big uptake in that with the with the market right now. Yeah, I think I think the audience. Well, the thing is that the audience is just getting smarter, man. We're so much yeah. more sophisticated. I mean, you know, you and I are of of, of similar vintages, so you know, <laughs> we um we we've seen hundreds of thousands of hours of entertainment and story and movie. I, I must have easily seen tens of thousands of movies in my life oh uh, sure yeah. i mean with without i mean i worked in a video store so i mean for four years five years something like that so i mean i've seen a lot yeah. of stuff in my day so all of that input and and we're trained like we're in the business yeah. Yeah. so can you imagine someone who's not in the business and still like i always use my wife as the the barometer like if she calls it out like she's like oh that the, the character development was just so weak wasn't it and i'm like who are you? And, and yeah. I didn't marry yeah. this. Like, I don't understand how you, how you know that. She's like, look, I've been living with you for so many years. Something has to have rubbed off at some, some point or another. But when she's talking about, oh, the car- oh the, there was just no motivation there. Or, oh, this yeah. just, it felt dry or this or that. It's interesting to see people outside the business. And that's what the, the reality is of our world now. We're so savvy. And can you imagine the kids coming up now? Well, I mean, my, my son is, uh, you know, he started writing screenplays and he actually won a bunch of awards. He's 13 now. But when he was 10, before Bastard. he was First really one. getting getting so, into screenwriting. So let's huh? stop this. Let's stop this right here. Bastard. I can't believe a 13 year old is writing screenplays. I didn't even know what a movie camera was at 13. Yeah. Are you kidding me? I know. I can't believe it either. Dude. <laughs> I, no, I, I, had, I had a kid on who's like, yeah, I'm 17. I've, I've shot, you know, like six features already. And I've, uh, you know, yeah. And I've have, they're on Amazon Prime. I'm making a little bit of money with them, but I really want to. Wow. And I'm like, First of all, we all hate you, so understand that. Right away. <laughs> so let's get that out of the way and let's move on from there. But no, it's it's just a different world. Like it's a world that you yeah. and I can't even think about because it was just, you know, it we didn't, didn't exist. have it. Yeah. It didn't exist. Yeah. I didn't I mean, mean to call your son a bastard. I apologize. Move on. <laughs> 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 all right, so you're saying so. I won't, he, I won't tell him. All right, so uh, he really started at 10 years old, so that well, even makes yeah, it we better. Were, we, were, we were sitting in a theater, and this is before he started writing, oh. um, and we got through a movie, and I don't want to name it, but he looked over to me and he goes, that character development was terrible. Oh, you and the name ending name of the movie it. totally okay. destroyed the arc. And oh, I was like, whoa, hold on please, a second. <laughs> please name it. Please name it. No. <laughs> I, I don't want to name it's it. Justice no. League. It's Justice League. Go ahead. Just say it. No, go ahead. <laughs> well, he had issues with that one too. I'm sure. Uh, but I looked at him and I was like, do you want to do, do what daddy does? And he's like, well, I'll give it a shot. So then he wrote his little screenplay. And, That's and, awesome. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was cool. Yeah. So, I mean, they're just, they get it. You know, they've seen the same beats, like you said, and they've kind of learned it through osmosis. Right, exactly. I mean, the things like, you know, when I read Sid Field's book, that was the first time, I think for a lot, for an entire generation. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was like the book that everyone was like, what? We all, just, it's all the yeah. same story? At, at 20 minutes, something happens? At this time, it happens here? Like, 
that was mind blowing to me. And I wasn't even in, I think I was just, I wasn't even in film school or I just got out in film school when I read that. It was insane when I read that. And now that's common knowledge, like the hero's journey. Everybody yeah. knows the hero's journey. Like, you know, it's just something that's built into our psyche at this point in the game. So I, that would make sense why high concept movies are starting to waver. And yeah. the Joker is a really great example of that. I was going to ask you, where, where does the Matrix fall in? Because the Matrix is not high concept. It is and it isn't. Because you yeah, can't pitch that. that balance, doesn't it? Yeah, you can't pitch that in, in a sentence. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think you're right. Uh, they definitely lean into the the monomyth figure, though the, sure. the the holy figure that way. And so I think by doing that, they're able to to lean into the inner character relationships, and then they really explore that world. And exploring that world is definitely a high concept take. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I, I think they strike that balance, which is incredibly difficult. You know, 